You're listening to the Decentralized Talk Podcast, your crypto connection. Decentralized Talk. Decentralized Talk. All right, all right, all right, guys, it's that time again. Set your crypto clocks to now. I don't know what that means. Welcome to another outstanding episode of the Decentralized Talk podcast. This is our 23rd show now in production. We're like Michael Jordan. We are growing leaps and bounds, and we are now on every single continent, and we're about to prove it with our MaxCoin interview today. We are, as I've mentioned before, not on the fake global conspiracy continent of Antarctica. Decent. This is not investing advice. This is just our opinions. Please do your own research when investing in cryptocurrencies. All righty, guys. Well, we got a special treat in store for you today. We've got the MaxCoin team in the studio. And by in the studio, I mean across the world. And uh, we're we're coming at you from literally um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different places at the same time across the world. Technology is amazing. Very decentralized. Very highly decentralized. And that's why we're all here is for technology, celebrating technology, and growing this thing called cryptocurrency. So uh, to that end, uh, we have the MaxCoin team for you here. We got Johnny Ozan. All right, we got David Serrano. We got Oliver, Mario, and Alex, all part of the team. And I'm going to let you uh, let them introduce themselves. Uh, We're going to start with Oliver. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do for the MaxCoin team. Hello, my name is Oliver Morris. I'm 15 years old, and I'm uh, Max Coin uh, developer. Tell me some of the projects that you guys are working on, or, or just on on a on a day to day basis when you interact with Max Coin, when you when you work for Max Coin, um, what are some of the projects that you're working on? So I'm working on different integrations for wallets, uh, uh, getting it on different exchanges, and much working on building it more and making it more um, available uh, on different exchanges, different platforms. It's amazing that at the age of 15, you, you're literally said more in that sentence than I've probably accomplished in my entire life. Uh, <laughs> so, <I'll be> second <laughs> and has yeah, and has known me for I don't know a couple of decades. All right, uh, Joe, Joe, tell us a little hey. bit about yourself. Uh, well, yeah, my name is uh, Joe. I'm 28, living in France. Uh, been contributing to MaxCoin for uh, four or five months now. It's a pretty unique thing. Yeah, fantastic. David. Yes. Hi. My name is David Serrano. Um, I'm Aussie, as you can tell by my accent. And I live in Portugal, the south of Portugal, in a beautiful place called Algarve. Um, did I say I'm 43? I'm, I'm 43, three kids, married, and uh, working Max Coin uh, the time. Um, so I'm, I'm loving it. It's a uh, Cryptocurrency is fantastic. Um, it's changing the world. I think it's already changed the world. And uh, MaxCoin um, is uh, kind of following that dream where it's all decentralized. Everyone works for free. Everyone provides what they can, you know, at, at any particular time. Uh, we've got multiple people working on different projects. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving working with, uh, with uh, the entire team. Well, we're loving you guys, and we we appreciate you guys being here. Mario, coming at us from Mexico. Yeah, my name is Mario Juarez. I am from Mexico, and well, what I we we as a community in, in Maxcoin try to help with with anything we can because of course we have different uh, profiles, different skills, and we try to, we try to 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 support in any task that we that we can. Uh, lately, I have been uh, tasked with uh, contact exchanges. It's, it's kind of hard because we we have a, a no listing fee policy, and <laughs> you know most most exchanges one are are there for for some to get the the, the listing fee. But well, it, it's uh, it's very refreshing uh, from a financial standing point that all this uh, revolution that is occurring with cryptocurrency and and. For me and for us, it's it's about um, 
getting cryptocurrency to the place that it really belongs and not just an, uh, not just for trading in for for you know a mean of exchange and, and daily use and all that beautiful things that the cryptocurrency must be so well we we invite everyone that uh, to to come to the community talk to us in telegram and and well join with with ideas and with uh, with whenever whatever they can, what you can I, I'm I'm shocked right now that we we got we got a guy coming at us from Mexico. We got a guy from Portugal, which is Portuguese. Obviously, is the the main language spoken in Brazil, and we got a pretty good competition happening tomorrow between the two countries. So, <laughs> how does uh, how does that play out? Are you guys uh, are you guys pretty competitive from a World Cup perspective? Uh, I don't know. I think we're you know foremost nerd. Sports and nerds doesn't really it doesn't mesh unless it's it's fantasy sports. Fantasy sports kind of blends the blends the two, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm not a soccer fan, but of course I want my team, well Mexico team to to to, to yeah. have a good part. So well, let the better one win. So <laughs> you're like a true well, tech person. It, spoken, it, spoken truly the tech. Last, well, the last, the last, the last match didn't didn't go so well for Mexico. It yeah. was three zero, but well, let's have hope. There you go. All right, hope. very cool. And then, last but not least, we got Adam, Alex. I'm saying Adam, Alex, the Adam Miner. Hey, hey guys, Alex here. Um, at the moment, I'm staying for living in Russia. Uh, been introduced to the Mexican community, officially introduced somewhere around in springtime, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got uh, our, like my side project is like we've got uh, our hard hardware miner working with like numerous cryptocurrency, and the Mexican looks promising. I love the community. I love the support. As for for the daily basis, well. I would love to see the wallets and integrations to be more optimal and trying to improve the code and the audit code base and do supporting projects like uh, mining pool and other stuff. Excellent. Well said. Well, let's get right into it, guys. Who wants to talk first? We're going to talk about just the broad features. So anybody that hasn't heard of MaxCoin and they click on the show, they, they, they want to learn a little bit more about who you guys are. Um, beyond as a team, um, but a little bit about what the coin brings to the table. What, what are some of the top features of Max Coin? Uh, probably it's um, SHA-3 snow signatures. It's probably it's the signature quantum proof uh, mark. And wh what's the that, difference between that and the 256? The SHA-256 is written by the NSA. So we, we use SHA-3. So um, obviously it's written by the KCHAT group. And uh, so it's not in case Bitcoin was, or I suppose if NSA might control Bitcoin, you yeah. have Max Coin with SHA three, so it's obviously independent from Bitcoin, using a completely different algorithm. So it's more secure and faster. Okay, that's that's neat. Yeah, we did we did an episode on consensus algorithms and um, talked pretty in depth about SHA two fifty six, and that was a concern of mine. Is is if it was developed by the NSA, how do we know that it's not? Uh, it doesn't have some point of failure because of that, you know. So, yeah, and if it's developed by them, it's like, how do you know who Satoshi is? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, well, start free to, uh, uh, catch a game. Uh, it, it is what the next level of uh, of um, uh, hashing algorithms. I mean, it was uh, it was chosen as the as the winner for for start free uh, on the NISP. So, I mean, it's um, it's. It is the next level. I think it's it's uh, it's much harder to crack. I mean, we're talking about the. Uh, I should point out some links to you on the website where we go through why it's considered to be quantum uh, resistant as to, uh, opposed to quantum proof. So the the idea that uh, uh, for you to um, uh, be uh, a computation required to crack SHA three is is uh, so much greater than SHA two that. You can't, can't really compare that in, 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 in that regard. Now, it's not to say that Shark 5, 6 has had any collisions or there is anything like that to be concerned about. I mean, I can't imagine that the Bitcoin is at risk until uh, quantum computing is actually a reality. But uh, I think quite far from that, 
I mean, um, quantum computing, it's, it's all theoretical science at the moment. So, exactly. you know, we, we try not to really push the whole idea that, uh, that, that uh, it is quantum resistant and quantum proof very strongly because, I mean, it is theoretical science and we'd rather deal with uh, uh, facts. Yeah, you're basically saying it's, um, it's quantum proof even though there, that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> You know, yeah, you're protecting from future point. <laughs> yeah, you're protecting yeah, so from a yeah, well, yeah. future fear. Yeah, yeah, but it's I mean, also I mean, well, that's good. That's a lot problem. better than somebody uh, being reactionary. True. Yeah, it's like we're probably the first to implement the snore signatures, so it's like as well. So Bitcoin's kind of looking to, to do mm -hmm. that. So uh, Max yeah, kind of the proven track for that. The, the first to implement what what signature? Uh, snore. Do, do tell us a lot of our listeners uh may not be what you would call uh the sharpest the <laughs> <laughs> so uh break it down for us because we're we're you know we're we're uh we're, we're attracting people that are, are new because when people are trying to learn about cryptocurrency um the laziest possible way to learn about it is through a podcast right where we just tell you all the information and what he's really saying is, I don't know what that is. Can you please explain it for me? Okay. That's <laughs> <all we're... laughs> what I'm trying to say is I'm an idiot. <laughs> so tell me about Snore. Right, Snore Signature is a digital signature produced by the Snore Signature algorithm. It is very efficient and generates short signatures. So the security of a very short signature. And it's based on the intract intractability of certain decree logarithm problems so why is a shorter signature more secure again it's a layman i'm just thinking like a bigger number that would be harder to manufacture or copy or compute um but so it's like it's it's more it's more efficient to compute but it's actually at the same time more encrypted mm. so yeah. it's uh it's it just runs smoother it's uh it helps it helps to enable like rapid loss of less than a minute at a time so it's the scalability is built into it, you know, so it just kind of uh, smooths out the blockchain. Okay, so before before we jump into, you know, nitty gritty of hash functions and... If you wanted to kind of look at Bitcoin from the standpoint of using it in the shop, it's not really, it's not really viable for that. It's more of, more of an asset class where you kind of, you would hold the value in it, kind of sort of turn it up to gold. Yeah, like a Whereas store of value. Kinda, yeah, if, if you wanted a, a the piece of currency, it's always been kind of a silver back. You would need some kind of easily more rapid, dispensable, more trustable. It's, it's accountable, it's reliable, it's quick. It, you know, it's, it appears in seconds in, in your wallet. It's, you use that as money rather than a 10 minute transaction. So. And I've heard this, the SHA 3 uses uh, lower transaction fees too, is that correct? Yeah, it's, it's basically free. It's, you can, if you're sending a large transaction from a uh, it's an exchange they usually charge a, a fee, but from peer to peer, it's it is free. It, um, it's also a lot less uh, a lot less energy um, a consuming. So I mean, um, a country could be able to. Uh, I mean, we had the solar miners. Actually, uh, John will be able to tell you more about that as well. And and Alex, Alex actually did a, a prototype for a, a a max coin miner that was running. For energy, so uh, which you can probably talk about, but uh, that's one of the benefits of Ketchik Star Three is uh, you know it's, it's very uh, in and um, yeah, so it's an FPGA. It's it's basically like a small computer grid. It's like a small miner that runs um, connected to a solar panel, and so that kind of proves the feasibility of completely clean, fast, reliable sorts of transactions. I saw that article about the the solar miner. That looked like a really small device. I mean, what kind of what kind of hash rate are you know what kind of returns are you getting out of that tiny little miner? Well, it's basically in prototype uh, right okay. now. Um, we get in uh, like three hundred mega hashes uh, on a single device a second, while consuming about like nine to fifteen watts of energy. So basically, running a miner is going to be like a, a little less than running a light bulb at your house, yeah. uh, which is kind of great. Yeah. That's why the we man. were able to um, power it off uh, of the solar panel. Decentralized across the world, you know, it can be anything. 
So is Max is, regarding mining is is Max Coin ASIC proof or is there just no ASICs uh, that are you know set to mine SHA three yet? Awesome. If I may say, nothing is ASIC proof. Yeah. The question is like how expensive it's going to be right. to uh, develop the ASIC uh, and uh, implement it and sell to people. Yeah. Keeping in mind that we have uh, FPGAs right now and uh, we're going to start selling them. Uh, there's going to be no like financial sense uh, to anybody to develop like more expensive chips and spend all tons of money on prototyping, rolling out the actual product. So I guess Mike's coin is going to be safe on this side. Absolutely. And and a point about being asset resistant. I mean, I mean, Alex mentioned it quite well. It's all about uh, bringing the asset chips to market. And uh, if there's a market there, um, it will be made. Um, so, I mean, it's, so in terms of whether something is asset proof, I mean, it's asset proof until it's no longer asset proof. Yeah. We, I mean, we've, we've had two different kind of schools of thought uh kind of guests on the show you know we've had guests that that think that uh having a coin that that is theoretically asic proof is a good thing because um it keeps competition on a level ground and then we've had people that say that um you should open it up to all new technologies because it kind of opens innovation that way um instead of blocking off a specific type of miner um you know when everybody could mine it not just but then that just also encourages kind of centralization of mining power to a certain extent. To, a, yeah, to a certain extent, it could, yeah, because the people with the more money, uh, you know, they can buy the more expensive um, computing equipment, uh, you know, could mine more, yeah. But I mean, if uh, if you compare the cost of uh, reproducing the solar panels and swap your board side for personal motion, um, similar to a motion light, you know, with this kind of reduces from nothing. It's... Well, one of the permutations that you're talking about, so we're talking about uh, the fact that uh, uh, whether it's good to be acid proof or not. And, uh, you know, the fact that you can make these chips and people can then fork and then make those chips basically useless. Well, that's not necessarily the same case with FPGA, where you could pro uh, reprogram them on at the moment. So... Someone forks, changes the algo. You own the FPGA. You change the algo. You know, it's a, so it's, it's somewhere in between the GPUs and the ASICs, really. What can you think about that? So there's, you know, th these permutations are fantastic. If you see like all like these little cyber battles, yeah. where you know, the, you know, the guys that are making the you know, the hardware fighting against the guys that are making the software, and they're all got this like a little financial game. Uh, uh, to be achieved, which again, this is fantastic for decentralization. Not necessarily the best for Bitcoin, not necessarily the best for you know the top ten, but you know let's encourage these permutations. I mean, it's, it's, are we going to develop a whole new coin in the future that will probably be secure? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it might not be good for Bitcoin, but but I mean, you have to remember that Bitcoin is just the beginning. Having having these these arguments and competition. In, in the crypto space, it just kind of expands it. Absolutely, absolutely, but I mean, we, we can argue the point that Bitcoin has already changed the world. Oh. It doesn't have to necessarily keep going. I mean, it's already Definitely. done it. So, Definitely. I mean, a Bitcoin is fantastic, but it's, uh, it's, it, it's done something amazing. But uh, where it goes, who knows? So, I mean, look, let's not be dogmatic. And, and so, you know, let's start, you know, we'll call all the sending net case, so do we, or Nespa? I mean, you know, things change. You know, with the, it has just started, but things will change. Yeah, at the very least, it can open people's eyes to see that that decentralization is possible, and you don't have to rely on big banks, um, you know, and big governments to to rule everything for you. And just like that, with like the same Bitcoin is the first, it's like ASIC is also then the first. You don't have to rely on big companies to, to rely on big hash bonds. Yeah, you can decentralize it everywhere, and just it's just three. It's like. It's, uh, it's fast. It's very true. Very true. So uh, one question I had. So I watched um, the episode of Kaiser Report where I guess the original developers um, mined the Genesis mm -hmm. block and, 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 you know, did it live on the show there. So are, 
are are you are any of you part of the original development team? Where are those guys? Are they still developers? Have they moved on to other projects? Any wow. Other? Okay, so one was Luke, mm -hmm. and uh, one was Jordan. So Jordan is Kuka Cobain. You can probably ask him on Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So, he uh, literally uh, hates me. I think that guy. Ba I think he blocked me. me. Really. <laughs> I'm like 90% sure he what blocked. What did you do? No, I don't remember. There's no telling. This yeah, is like this is like when we there first. There hasn't he done? I know. You go crazy on Twitter. Better question. I was like, you know, it was like I was like up late at night. I was talking. My my wife is pregnant with twins. She just I had like twin babies, and I'm like feeding these kids, and I'm like shit talking on Twitter, and all of a sudden I picked the wrong fight with Crypto Cobain. And uh, it just turned into like a beehive storm of tweets. <laughs> uh, horrible. This is not the only time that's happened. <laughs> so, so Luke, Luke um, uh, moved on. Um, I, I believe um, uh, Jordan moved on quite early as well. It had Nigel Smart, um, who. Uh, who came into the project to actually insist on Shark 3 Ketchup. And, you know, since then, there was actually quite a lot of people. Uh, I've got a history page on the website. That's probably good for reference. But, again, it's only history based on, on the way I see it. Because, I mean, I only really got involved um, with MaxCoin as part of the team and, and being involved in the project probably about July last year. Mm -hmm. So, so something that's really interesting to me already. So we we've been in this interview now. Has some what's the clock? How long have we been on the interview? No, Probably yeah, fifteen twenty minutes. About twenty minutes. Yeah. Twenty minutes. We have not once, guys. We have not once talked about price. We uh, haven't talked about the price. We haven't uh, talked about any of this stuff. And so exactly. So look, look. Yeah. That's another. So <laughs> I, I also stepped in it too, and we were DMing. We had a group chat going on before this, and I, and I mentioned that on the last podcast. Um, we, you know, we had Linda coin on here and Linda coin just having to shoot up like 200% right after it. Now, of course that had nothing to do with us. They were releasing a bunch of really cool stuff, but it just happened to be like yeah. in the area of being tongue in cheek. But, uh, rightfully, I think, uh, the team pretty quickly was like, we don't care about the price. It's not about the price. It's about the community. And so if you guys will do me a favor and, uh, take a step forward, tell me a little bit about how you guys interact with your community and how you're building the community. Okay. Should I start? What I want to say is that uh, MaxCoin is a no ICO, no advertisement, no donations, no pre mines. It's all organic growth, and it's say we don't really look at the. I don't. Well, I don't even look, really look at the price. It's about building the community more, and making it more available. And it's more about, I say, for me, or probably about everyone here, about the tech rather than the price. But I suppose, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, it's 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 creating the. The idea, the concept of a, a new means of transaction, communication with each other. You know, if you want to find a, a point of contact, or you want to get involved in some way, or you want just a, are curious how the thing works. It's there's people there that understand how it works, or the idea that it brings, and you can help develop that and reinforce that, and drive more people to join and use it and experience it. What about? <laughs> In terms of a roadmap, we know where you guys have been, right? We know roughly where you guys are right now. Um, we know your, um, your, I guess I will say ideology, right? And it seems like you guys are, 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 are big. I mean, but that's, you know, that's a huge part of, of cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is, uh, it's like finance meets uh, revolution, you know, and well, uh, a lot of the world is influenced by, in a lot of ways, but mm. cryptocurrency in, in one way is quite pure, and there's you can always mm. trace it back to literally like the proof of work that's like in the signature. Mm. I mean, it's, it can be, I don't like Ripple. <laughs> 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 so, so, so what's up next? I mean, oh, that's yeah, one sure, of the, yeah. yeah, you mentioned about the, uh, the price, so. That's probably the least interesting thing about the coin. Um, and like in, in our Telegram chats, I mean, that's, um, I mean, if you probably notice if you come in and see, like, we like to talk about other things other than price. It's, uh, you know, we're not focused on it. 
Uh, we're more focused about, again, talking with the community. I mean, in the end, uh, Max Coin, the community is its culture. We, we, we all have this like shared dream. We all have no, uh, funding where, you know, we're doing this for some kind of financial incentive for development. I mean, yeah, to get paid for development. No, uh, we're, we're all doing our part, you know, and the coin is progressing quite well. And it doesn't need that. It doesn't need that, that sort of, uh, governance that's ruled by, by the funds. Love it. What about, what about uh, from a wallet perspective? How, how can people, if they, they, they say, okay, now we've heard of it. Uh, we're huge fans, obviously, of Decentralized Talk podcast. Uh, now we uh, have got exposure to MaxCoin. Um, where, 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 what, what kind of wallets do you guys have out there? There's, a, there's desktop wallets for, um, for Microsoft and for Linux and for, and for Apple. And uh, there's a iOS wallet that's currently getting, waiting to be approved to be put on the store, and um, the group's currently working on an Android wallet. Get yeah, in a few weeks later. So w you, yeah. you guys are gonna have that Android wallet in a couple weeks? Or maybe a well, month. Uh, or, well, oh, maybe a month or so. It's in the works. <laughs> it's in the works. So the the iOS wallet we tested uh, actually with the community in Telegram, and uh, it works quite well. <laughs> so. So the actual wallet's finished. It's uh, uh, tested with the community, and it's now being submitted to Apple. And there's a, a whole process when it comes to adding a wallet uh, on Apple, which is. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, oh, I believe it. Try to get a podcast on iTunes. It's a Apple's nightmare. Not <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so I mean, you know, they, so they they try to pull you back in the centralized organizations by. By making you jump all these hoops, so you can use a decentralized currency. <laughs> yeah. Garden. You know, it's 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 absolutely ridiculous. But we still want it. You know, we still like the uh, the, the iPhone. So, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. look, we have to you know, perhaps jump through some of those hoops. But uh, yeah. you know, not uh, not if it means that you know we have to you know be uh, less um, uh, decentralized. I think that. Uh, uh, we should also focus on all the uh, decentralized projects. Yeah. Um, so we've uh, we've we've submitted our commit to BISC. So that on the next time they they compile the binaries, uh, uh, you should be able to trade Maxcoin on a decentralized exchange. Uh, so that's a big one for us. We're trying to do the uh, Komodo integration, um, anything that we can find around atomic wallets and. Um, you know, uh, atomic swaps. That's uh, you know, quite interesting. Um, and we're also not going to be, uh, you say, uh, I don't know what the word is. We're not going to, you know, prevent people from doing uh, like their own applications. I mean, if someone wants to come and, and put Lightning Network on Maxcoin, you know, who are we to say no? I mean, yeah. if, if if the community agrees to it, and the and the community wants it, who are we to stop them from doing this? I mean. Our roadmap uh, you know, should be fluid. If the community wants it, we go with the community. Community is the coin. David is the George Washington of cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, so I don't know if you guys know this story, uh, but George Washington. So after, um, I know we got some UK people in here, so pardon me on this. I'm American. Uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I don't know this story. I can so, tell you. I'm curious so, where this is going. Yeah. So George Washington. So after so um, after we have uh, <laughs> defeated the British, um, we <laughs> we uh, <laughs> we uh, we we looked around. Everybody asked George Washington. They said, "Okay, awesome. Uh, you're the general of the American armies. Uh, obviously, you'll be our new king." And Washington said, "No, no, I'm not going to be your king. I don't want to be a king." What we need to do is create a essentially this idea for a decentralized government, right? A government ruled by the people, a constitutional republic. Um, and so that's that's very that's very cool. I just think it struck me that that you said that it doesn't matter. It just what matters is what the people want. That's that's very big. That's yeah. very powerful. They're the ones that will be using it. Yeah. So it's you know, you, it's, sure. it's, like, it's a good idea yeah. of a of a decentralized republic, but if the people that are controlling everyone, if there's a thing that actually controls it, then it's... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I think 
and, and nothing against the other coins that we've we've had on the show. Um, we've already you, offended you, Crypto Cobain, you, England. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I was like George Washington. Washington. George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might as well go for it. <laughs> I would say, like one, you know, one big difference from from this coin as compared to the other coins that we've, you know interview the other develop, development teams is is they kind of have like a business in place where they're trying to make profits at the end of the day but um you know this development team you guys are just really about expanding you know, the community. this coin the this in the cryptocurrency base. space not for profit but you know just to improve decentralization um and to Im- improve max coin to to get it to its you know full potential um, and we've, we've, yeah. uh, we've also been prepared like, towards the future. We know that eventually a lot of things will put into the win towards that three. So just like we saw mm-hmm. signatures with like with that. So you might as well make sure. Max Coin is the perfect thing for that to make that the first one as well. That's why we we make a, a huge point on 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 the community and, and invite everyone uh, to join because we want to show that we we are all regular guys with different activities. We are volunteers uh, and the coin. Uh, we put uh, the time we can, the coin, develop the coin in different tasks. So that the idea that the people realize that it's not this, this is not only for financial uh, moguls or, or for very um, people that are so into informatics or or into computer sciences it's it can be for ev- for everyone and you can contribute with anything as simple for example translating documents to different languages or maybe with idea ideas that you want to put in a wallet for example i, I don't know if you're a developer of course uh, you can come with ideas and join the, the, the team and see what's uh, the different uh, projects we are forking uh, because we have several projects that we are forking, and as developer you can come and contribute with whatever you can. So it's not uh, that that's a message. Anyone can come and 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 and, and contribute to to cryptocurrencies in in this case, especially for Max. There's also and there's also people like Majoni Coin, for example, uh, Majoni Coin, I think it is on Twitter. Yes, he's in the, uh, he's uh, yeah, he's actively in the in the Telegram group, and he, for example, contributes a lot of fan art. Which gets like, posted mm-hmm. online for like made into like t-shirts and stuff, yep. designs, and uh, you know he was featured wearing uh, on uh, yeah. Oliver. He was wearing a t-shirt oh, with yeah. Kaiser Report recently. So yeah, yeah, I'll get it. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Pink Panther <laughs> with holding the Max Coin logo. Oh really? So, <laughs> really? Everyone. <laughs> kind of, there's, there's no kind of uh, the brand is what the people want to brand it. Basically, like you know the logo is what it is because that's what people chose. It's yeah. you use it how you want. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's viable yeah. to be. Maybe you yeah. can already buy things with Max Coin. There's a, there's a merchant list already listed. Yeah, I, I saw that on your on on your website that you already had a merchant list up. That's pretty neat. There's a few different people that have already started accepting it. It's only in the past, uh, since this team yeah. has yeah. together that those people have come on board. There's another dozen merchants to be added. <laughs> but uh, I think we we'll, we'll probably up to eight or nine uh, on the merchant page there. But uh, uh, you know, it's uh, it's expanding. We're, we're we're working with all the other projects that walk in and 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 working with like we're working with uh, a one of, uh, one of the providers, which is Coin to Pay, as a as a merchant, a crypto merchant system. So they've got plugins for Magento, WordPress, Odoo, all kinds of things. So um, you know, people will be able to integrate MaxCoin into all these different websites. So um, you know, trying to get as many merchants as possible and as and miners. I mean, one of the big things that we're you know, probably haven't spoken too much about is that we love miners. Yeah, like, <laughs> they you know, they come into the chat, they they're great developers, they're great people, they love their tech. Their Just nerds. to be clear, Again, in America that means something different. What um, really? Okay. Did you say that you love miners? <laughs> oh, really? okay. I didn't get Just, that. just to be I clear M I N O R S. Oh, no. something different everywhere here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, In his English. <laughs> yeah, the mine is the cleaning South Park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to the oh, other. I'm sorry. They caught that. Yeah. <laughs> See where you're headed. Look, there, there's not a pun that gets past me. There's not one. 
<laughs> it never will be. <laughs> By age, I'm a minor, I suppose. I'm the yeah. Sorry. Mentally, uh, <laughs> intelligence higher. <laughs> yes. D- yes. <laughs> Oliver. Ooh. Oliver, uh, we're, we're glad to have you here. And, and everybody loves minors. <laughs> so, so fair enough. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, we have like a, you know, a lot of uh, pools set up, and like, I, and like the owners of those are in the Telegram group, and they help people get set up and see what hardware works and see how they can do it. And, uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, current exchanges, different, or a lot of different exchanges already listed, and there's new ones coming on soon. So it's like uh, current exchange, uh, the OA exchange, you recently, uh, the OA exchange online just recently just out of it out of us. Uh this box. Um I think we're working on a ledger uh commits for the hardware wallet, but that's just up to them if they decide to eventually accept it and implement yeah. it with a into the software into their yeah. wallet and stuff like that. Yeah I want to see one more thing on the uh, merchant page. So it's kind of brings more people involved, I suppose if you're not a developer, obviously if you're like Majoni who does fan art, fan art you can mm-hmm. kind of this is bringing more people involved as can they can contribute as well as you don't you're not just a developer you can do fan art or you can work on I suppose, t-shirts or designs or anything yeah just bring people more of a role as well or not a role but you know people can contribute if a lot of different um if they have, if they have different projects or merchants they can accept max coin it's a good way to contribute yeah, definitely. Any kind of e-commerce business, you know, can accept Max Max when they can just uh, contact you guys, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just drop into the Telegram group where there's different uh, different web yeah. forums, and it's just it's up a there. lot of us. Yeah, well, I'll make, especially yeah, the, the 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 homepage. It's just everything you would need to get set up, or where to find it, how to do it, how to use it. It's just uh, it's available there. Cool. A lot of us, a lot of us are devs anyway, like uh, web devs, so uh, as well. So yeah, we definitely like to help people. You know, anyone that uh, helps Max. Is, uh, how did you guys get to, to meet each other then? Like, how did you guys end up? Uh, not to take it away too far away from the technical side, but I'm interested. Like, how did, how did you guys uh, kind of connect? Okay. <laughs> After David really set up the group, I guess uh, he met the. Yeah, the, I, I think I think we ha- we have to thank Twitter, Twitter for that. Maybe I, that's right. Maybe I, <laughs> Maybe I, I, think just kind of, I think I was kind of start the project, and we all just kind of find each other. So. Yeah, I, so, I just think I met David on Twitter. Or, I don't know how I met him. I saw one of his tweets or something. But we're going back. I don't know, beginning of 2017. It's quite quite, or maybe like 2016. But yeah, I think I was one of the early people. But I suppose it's that was yeah. So I met through Twitter and we we're talking, and then we made it. Then we created a Telegram group and we made it more. That's true. Yeah. Yes. So after the um, uh, again, look, look most of those details are on the history page. It's uh, uh, Max Coin was not at a good stage when it picked up. So it was um, the developers had kind of moved on to other projects as well. Um, and you know, the, uh, the community was still there. I mean, on Twitter, they were supporting it, etc. but it just wasn't getting pushed forward. I think the idea was that, you know, the, the community wasn't actually working together. So just prior to the reboot, I remember, I think Oliver sent something, he was creating a Twitter box or something to get the max point price. So I ended up working with Oliver, uh, due to, yeah, to, to set up his Twitter box, if I recall. Yeah, one of my first, um, I think one of my first things, or one of my first projects with MaxCoin was creating a Twitter book, grabbing the price from, and also the old uh, Block Explorer, with like kind of like a little, a little Block Explorer using, grabbing block info from that and then tweeting it on Twitter. But also, yeah. I also created, I also forked a really old project of a Bitcoin uh, Python library, which I then um, integrated for MaxCoin. So a Python library for grabbing the block info. So like Merkle wrote, um, Dennis, Dennis's block, like from each block, um, and difficulty and all this other info uh, using Python. Yep. So, so then we set up those uh, those uh, repos on on GitHub and and we worked on those projects. But then also met Mario and uh, Jonathan Pluse on on Twitter, and uh, we ended up going to Telegram. And we were actually quite good on on Telegram. Uh, there's a lot more mining stuff. 
uh, going on there. So uh, I think that's where it kind of uh, uh, built out um, in terms of reaching out to the community. I think Telegram uh, was a much better platform, especially for the miners. Yeah, I, I remember when I mined the Max coin for the first time, there was not really very much information about how to mine it. And the first thing we did is writing mining guides for GPUs and CPUs and et cetera. So, so everyone could get get on the train, on the mining Max coin train. <laughs> and and, we have- and Mario uh, didn't uh, end up... Um, coordinating to get all the mining tools on board. So, so that was one of the things, I mean, uh, very important uh, for proof of work is obviously the hash rate. So, so that was one of the, also the first things that we worked on, wasn't it? So to get all the mining sorted, the guides, the software, and... Yeah, get, get more mining pools, etc. cetera, yep. Once you have all that, it kind of, the culture just kind of comes all together, kind of like a stew, you know, this <laughs> just kind of forms up and uh, grows out of... Anything that Phoenix from the ashes, he just uh, he's into a group to kind of nurture himself. I love that imagery, the Phoenix from the ashes. Yeah, you guys basically found a little baby bird, and yeah, that everybody had forgot gone. about. People had left and yeah. nursed it back to health, and now we're setting it free to fly. <laughs> <laughs> like a phoenix from the ashes. <laughs> exactly. I like uh, I like all these. Uh, Bird references. <laughs> I'm majoring in bird law. So. <laughs> uh, Hess is laughing because I actually have a degree in in bird science. <laughs> that's my my that's my, true. My degree is actually in in bird science. So um, that's that's my background coming into crypto. <laughs> I can tell you about the anatomy and physiology of the phoenix. <laughs> it's just fire. It's all fire. I thought it was chickens. Or specifically, chicken. specifically poultry. That is correct. <laughs> we really want to get details. Yeah. We've talked uh, about this on other shows. That uh, you know, I don't know what uh, uh, poultry science has to do with uh, the cryptocurrency, but someday. Chicken coin out in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the the community just kind of. It came off from all of that. People just kind of find one place to, to source a lot of information. And then people just find a, a reason to stay and just, it is kind of what it is. Well, we love it, guys. And, and we appreciate you guys uh, coming on the show and, and taking the time to meet with us. I know it's early in the morning for you guys uh, across the pond. And, uh, and it means a lot that you took the time to, to reach out to not only our viewership, but uh, also some of the people, I think, in your forums that uh, w- would like to, like to hear you guys answer some of these questions and kind of find out uh, where Max Coin is going. Um, I, I like the coin. I think it's cool. I like you guys. You guys are, you guys are top notch. I really liked how y'all talked about community so much. That was big fan because that's why we all came to bitcoin right that's exactly why <laughs> exactly kind of yes nothing, you know? warmed by the fire of the phoenix <laughs> i think the people... hey, and i'm gonna, I'm Go gonna say you guys have a, a really cool podcast there yeah? so <laughs> keep it up yeah. i appreciate that good work well you guys got anything else for us uh before we go anything uh you guys want to want to let the the world know where can people reach out to you specifically like how like what are the top platforms that you guys utilize to 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 reach out to new people who are Uh, trying to find you so if you go to maxcoinproject.org um you get all the info right there most of it's on the home page or on the right hand panel uh there's a button there called chat you go there and you reach us in telegram and you meet um, a community. We're about 2,300 uh, members so far and, uh, and growing fast. Love it, guys. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for having us on. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Thank you. Thank you, for, Thank you for giving us your time. Well, great interview, guys. That about wraps things up for this episode of The D. Be sure to tune in next week where we go over the many business use cases for cryptos. Unless something crazy pops up, like another awesome interview with one of your favorite coins. 
check us out and be sure to send comments as you always do. And we appreciate all the love at Detox Podcast on Twitter and Facebook, Decentralized Talk on iTunes and iHeartRadio. Links to the website in the description below. Stay decent, cryptos. <laughs>